Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this video. So we have Tropical Storm Hannah that was a hurricane to talk about that is still a rainfall threat. We have Invest 92L which could be our next big tropical cyclone and possibly affect the east coast of the US as well as the Caribbean and the Bahamas. And we also have Hurricane Douglas which is a Hawaiian threat. But before I go into details, please ensure to subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you know every time when I post a new video because I will keep you guys updated on tropical cyclone activity right throughout the hurricane season and it can all and you can also follow me on Instagram. My personal account is Danny Henry Official, and my weather account is Weather Girl Danny. So first, we want to go and take a look at Hurricane Douglas. Okay, so at this moment, it is about to move over parts of the Hawaiian Islands, and it is expected to bring some very dangerous and life-threatening conditions to the archipelago, guys. And so let's look at satellite view, and we're seeing here that the storm is pretty compact. It is a Category One hurricane at this time, with sustained winds of 90 miles per hour, and further weakening is expected. Expected and the storm as I said it is going to bring some dangerous conditions to portions of the Hawaiian Islands guys and so let us now go to the National Hurricane Center's Cone of Uncertainty for Hurricane Douglas right here and we're seeing here that we have a hurricane warning being in place for most of the south central portion of the um, Hawaiian archipelago excluding the big island which is under a tropical storm warning and we have a tropical storm watch extended for majority of the northern Hawaiian islands and so we're expecting that heavy rainfall that storm surge as well as those gusty winds but the real threat is going to be the rainfall threat of course we could have some very life life threatening flash flooding so if you're there please take necessary precautions and do not take any unnecessary risk guys and now let's go up on to hannah so hannah currently has winds of 40 miles per hour and is moving to the west southwest at nine miles per hour so we see here it is located right over the northeastern portion of mexico and we're expecting the storm to be moving on that more southwesterly like track and of course further weakening is anticipated but regardless of where um where it is going it is still a rainfall threat um, for Mexico and we're seeing here um, for the rainfall potential map that we have some isolated 10 inches of rainfall expected for the northeastern portion of Mexico and different colors show different amounts of rainfall the lighter green one the darker green two the yellow four the orange six and we have the red being 10 and let's not go any further because um, um, the highest amounts that are expected for portions of northeastern mexico 10 inches and we also have it being for louisiana where we could see the most southerly section getting about two inches of rain and so next let us go on to invest 92l which is our next tropical disturbance located right i'd say in between the windward islands as well as the right off the coast of africa and this is given a high 90 percent chance of development through the next five days and maybe by the next two days we could see this being a tropical depression for our canadian model potential track of this system or ensemble here we're seeing that most of our well the models are green on a track to the west and then we see it's going out more to the west northwest eventually to the northwest and we could see this being a threat to the northeastern caribbean and the bahamas as well as the east coast of the u.s but a lot of odds are there guys and we just have to watch this one because it seems as though it will be quite significant and on satellite view here we're seeing it we're not seeing much organization definitely because it is getting in shape but conditions of course ahead of it are quite favorable for some further intensification as well as some strengthening guys and if this becomes a tropical storm it will acquire the name East Hales which is the next name on the list for this Atlantic hurricane season and so now we want to take a wide view a look at the wide view of the Atlantic right now and so we are seeing quite a bit of tropical activity a strong wave just emerging off the coast of Africa there we have Invest 92L we have the remnants of Gonzalo right a bit to the southeast of Jamaica as we also have Hannah right over there in northeastern Mexico guys and for the remnants of Gonzalo it may look as though it is reorganizing and if it, if this moves on the west west northwesterly like track maybe Jamaica will be affected with just some rainfall from this maybe a bit of flooding but we're not expecting anything that is very significant from it and let's look at the wind shear map for that area where the remnants of Gonzalo are located the red showing unfavorable conditions for tropical development the yellow neutral and the green favorable so we're seeing that the remnants are located in an area of strong wind shear and there's also some dry air intrusion so with those two factors we're not expecting this to re-intensify and we're seeing a more westerly like track so most likely it will move over into the Central American 
um, countries and then cross over into the eastern Pacific. And for the sea surface temperature map, here we're seeing that most of the main development region is very warm. The Gulf, the Caribbean, right off the east coast, have very warm ocean waters. And let me remind you guys, we have a record-breaking season already in terms of the amount of tropical cyclones that are being formed. Not even 2005, which features 28 named storms, had this much activity going on. And just we're just expecting it to get worse as we approach the peak of the hurricane season, guys. So if you live anywhere to be affected or usually affected by tropical cyclones, please stay safe. And if you found this video to be pretty informative, please give a thumbs up. And you can also share thoughts in the comments or ask a question. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And just remember to always be otherwise. Now we'll keep giving all the necessary updates on the tropics as time goes by.